hello there today I'm gonna show you how to get a top level domain a custom domain to your blog this uh, video is about blogger blog uh, from Google uh, this is not for uh, WordPress and to do this uh, you need to get a free account from free uh, from here this is one of my blogs uh, this is called uh, coffin uh, as you can see uh, this uh, has a custom domain right here and my URL is not uh, coffee.blogspot.com it's coffee.ga now this is a top level domain it's like uh, coffee.com or uh, coffee.org or .net you can have this for free of charge it's totally legal how you do is you need to uh, go to freenow.com create a free account so what you do is uh, you log into your blogger uh, your blogger homepage where you will see all your blogs. Uh, let me just uh, connect one to this one. Silly icon, I haven't uh, configured a custom domain to this one yet, so I'm gonna just click here. Go to settings and basic right here. Now, as you see, uh, the blog address is silly icon dot blogspot.com now you don't edit this uh, what you click is set up a third party URL for your blog first you need to go to your free norm account uh, if you don't have an account already just uh, go to freenorm.com and uh, you see this this is what you see when you first log in I'm gonna just click register new domain uh, because I already have an account uh, note that this is free of charge this is what you will see when you go to Freenome website for the first time. Click here, look for a domain of your choice. I'm gonna just type in silly icon. Let's see if uh, it's available. Now I check silly icon. What you can see here is uh, silly icon.tk, silly icon.ml, silly icon.ga.cf, and gq. These are free of charge right now, and all of these are available. If it says free, and zero USD that means it's free if, uh, if it says anything else if, if it says a value here or if it says a uh, taken or something like that that means it's not available you can't have it you have to check for something else let's see uh, I'm getting this dot uh, ml if this is the uh, domain of my choice silly icon dot ml I'm gonna just click get it now all right now what you do is you check out click here three months free go and select 12 months free uh, as you can see here uh, for one year you had to pay 9.95 dollars but it's the same as 12 months free the, the difference between this is that uh, if you click this domain will not be transferred to anyone else for this whole year you have it for yourself it's dedicated for you but if you get this for 12 months free, someone else can get it too. They can just come here, search for the same, they'll be shown an amount to pay. And if they pay it, you'll lose it. Since you're getting it for free, uh, you, you face the risk of uh, losing it away. If you get something like this, a uh, brand name of yours that no one else is interested in, you probably uh, won't have to go through this because no one else will come and uh, search for it. So uh, what you do is uh, you get it 12 months for free. The way to keep this and uh, go on keeping it they won't charge you ever the way to do is that you have to note down the date that you registered your domain later on uh, come two weeks uh, before the expiry takes place and you have to renew it if you do this you will never have to pay for your domain now just uh, select 12 months at free and uh, press continue uh, you're not uh, doing anything here you can do this later on now that I have it, uh, here I have uh, filled my information and uh, I'm just gonna complete my order. You have to select here and complete your order and your new customer. If you don't have a, an account already, you'll have to fill all this information. And I'm just gonna complete the order. Okay, now that I have sillyicon.ml, I'm just gonna go here and type in www.s icon.ml now that you have to put www dot in uh, front of this because if you don't there will be an error message saying you can't attach a naked uh, domain so you have to attach it with www dot now what you do is you say 
say so this error message this is very important you need this error message right here now what you do is you go here go to your client area I'm just gonna go here go to my domain if you go here you can see that the one that you just bought is right here you click manage domain not the expiry date okay this domain will expire on uh, 31st uh, October 2016 you have to come two weeks before the expiry uh, happens and you have to renew it that way you can keep it for another year and uh, you have to continue to do it to keep the domain free of charge now you have to click manage freedom DNS now you need to enter some uh, records right here to have it uh, transferred to your blogger uh, these are the information that you have to put these four A, rec a records uh, This will not change. These are the same thing for every blog a blogger site you have uh, this is the same thing So I'm just gonna go ahead uh, This is for another website. I have here this one So you just uh, note down these uh, numbers. These are IP addresses. These IP addresses will be in the description if you check it right below select uh, when you do it, you select A and you put like that and you just say add record now you have to do this uh, the only thing that will change is this uh, the number so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, Changes 36. I'm gonna change it to 38. Another record. Say 34. These numbers will not change, so you have to uh, follow this carefully. Okay, now you have uh, 32, 34, 38, 36, and you have to add, add two more records. Now this one will not change. Okay, and these are C name records, these are not A records, these are C name records. So you have to go here and add and you have to select C name and say www. That's important. It says right here www. This is the name and this is the other information. You have to just copy it here. And one more record. This one is unique for your blog. This uh, the one I have here and uh, the one you will see will be different. Uh, this is why you need to uh, first uh, add your domain right here and click save and you will get this error message and with the error message you will see the one the unique uh, target and the C name that you need to enter. I'll go right here and put these two. Alright, now I just save changes. Okay, it says record edited successfully. Uh, now you have these records, six records totally. These uh, four will be uh, the same. Uh, this one will be the same as well. Uh, only the only this one, this unique one I showed you, uh, that will be different. Now if you just go here and click save again you'll get the error message uh, again just wait for another about five minutes or so uh, until uh, these DNS records are uh, uh, actually uh, saved on the servers and uh, will be available for blogger to fetch so just uh, wait for about uh, two three minutes and then uh, refresh this page and you click the same button again and Enter your domain here. Simple. Okay. Yes, as you can see, uh, it just worked. Now it says uh, my blog address is silicon.ml, and uh, you can edit this. And also, if you enter silicon.blogspot.com, it will uh, still redirect to this one. The problem here is now uh, if you just enter silicon dot ml without the www dot this will give an error message you need to fix this just click edit and 
check this one right here redirect silica.ml to www.silica.ml and save yes it's done now it works all right that's it that's how you get a free top level domain for your blog from google okay uh subscribe for the next video check my other videos as well if you found this helpful let me know in the comments and uh, if there's anything else if you found a problem have other questions let me know in the comment section as well like subscribe actually helps thank you